and it kept saying for me to wait. Can I get? Can I put in the ID and just get on my computer? You should be able to. Let me try. I don't want to hold my phone. I'd rather do it from the computer. Yeah. <clears throat> So if sister hops on, I'm gonna hop off, okay? Okay, we we do have a quorum, Dr. Yeah. Darby, um, with Mr. Williams, Mr. Right. Green, Mr. Waters, and Karen, mm -hmm. and Ms. McClellan, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, we have some Waters. people that are out in our- I see, we have an audience. Yeah. Great. And, and so for that, um, I, I, I thought Mr. Ward would be here. Oh, he is. He's out in the uh, he's out in the waiting room. Hi, Bill. Oh, there he is. Yeah. I can't. Uh, there we go. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Hi, Bill. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Hi. Bill. Hi. Okay, colleagues, I have a conflict. So since we have a quorum, I'm going to go to my other meeting, okay? It's a Zoom meeting too. <laughs> so you <laughs> all have you, a great, great evening and I'll check in, uh, Beth, to see what all happened, you know, if I need to know anything additional. At least you didn't have to travel far. I certainly didn't. I'm just going to click off here and click on to the other meeting. <laughs> okay, take care. Stay safe. Thank you. Uh -huh. Bye-bye. Thank you. Okay, so as vice chair, I'd like to bring this meeting to order. This is our 222nd meeting of the Citizens Police Review Board. It is April 28th, and uh, we're a few minutes after six o'clock getting started. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody that's watching and uh, participating in our meeting today. Um, it says to recognize excused members. Uh, Madam Dr. Executive Director, do we have anybody that we know is excused? Yes, Dr. Gershio is teaching a class, is conflicted for tonight. Um, and other than that, sister, we expect her to join. All right. Um, I'd like to uh, start by entertaining a motion to approve the minutes of our last meeting. Is there such a motion? I'll make a motion. I have a motion. Is there a second? I'll second. Uh, it's been moved and seconded. All those in favor of approving the minutes from our March meeting, please say aye. 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 All those opposed? And the motion passes. And thank you very much. Um, in terms of opening remarks, I, I guess I would like to uh, put a few thank yous out there. I'd like to thank uh, the residents and the people within Pittsburgh who continue to uh, let us know when they think something hasn't gone the way it should with uh, the Pittsburgh police. Uh, our work is all about taking a look at these cases and seeing what can be done to improve public safety through the cooperation and the partnership between people and the police. So thank you very much. I also wanna th say thank you to all the police officers and the other public uh, service folks in all branches who are out there uh, making sure to that we have public safety during this very difficult time of COVID-19. And uh, so thank you very much. We really appreciate all your professional service all the time, but right now it just seems um, like it's especially important to recognize the work that's being done by the professionals in the Pittsburgh Police Department and other areas of public safety. So thank you very much. Uh, and those are my opening remarks for tonight. <clears throat> um, our, we'll uh, do our board business and then go into case reviews and uh, a period of uh, public comment. And uh, so let's uh, start with uh, reports. And I don't have any report. Madam Executive uh, Director, do you have a report? Thank you, Mr. Waters. A very brief one. I believe members did receive uh, notice on the uh, filing of the statement of financial interest, which is required by the Pennsylvania State Ethics Commission statutes. Um, the 
due date is ordinarily May 1st. Um, of course, that's right around the corner, but everything's been delayed because of the COVID interruption. Um, we, we are willing, if you wish to return them to us at the office, we'll file them with the city clerk. The other option is, of course, you have the email uh, to respond with your completed statement of financial interest form to uh, the city of Pittsburgh email address that was included in your, e in your notice in your letter. Um, I understand that the Ethics Commission is refraining from any kind of um, compliance action for any accurately uh, completed statement of financial interest that is filed by July 15th. So we're good, we have plenty of time. Um, but it's also noted that we don't file with Pennsylvania. We are required to file with the local jurisdiction, which is of course the city of Pittsburgh because we are all engaged in um, city of Pittsburgh business only. If you have any questions, just holler, just let me know. Um, and if we don't know the answer, we will get the answer for you. And as a result of the um, interruption with COVID, and, and Mr. Waters, thanks for recognizing all the first responders and public safety people and the healthcare people. Um, there has been certainly a um, delay or rather an interruption with the services from the city for city employees. Um, as a result of the expense incurred, because we're not having the, the income ordinarily generated during this period of time, we are adjusting our budget for the five years inclusive of 2021 through 2025 to reduce by approximately 10% our operating expenses so that we can, as a city, make up some of what we're, what we're facing um, with the loss of revenue during this interruption. Our intake numbers are, um, they're, they're fairly low so far. I, I, we have about 84 complaints, inquiries, um, people seeking our assistance in some matter. Um, this time, ordinarily, we would be probably in the low 100s, but given what's going on, it's not a surprise. And I, I believe Sister has just joined us. Yes, I'm, yes. I would. So, um, we're not receiving any um, extraordinary complaints. Um, we've had some um, grumbling about officers <laughs> not wearing masks. They are required to wear masks, but there is always the discretion if there is a threat to public or to the officer's safety that they can decline to wear masks, sort of like body cameras. If there is a um, potential safety risk to the officer then and they can't turn the body camera on, they just, they can't, they don't. Similarly with the mask, the, the discretion is involved in the use of the mask. Although all the photos that we've seen in the last few weeks, they are wearing masks when they're out on the street. So we're not overly concerned about that. And I did, of course, check with Chief Schubert who indicated what I just said. Um, yes, they're required to, but there has to be some common sense and some safety concerns um, while wearing it. And, um, I think that's actually the, that concludes all I have to share with you tonight. Maybe I, I, I would like to recognize that um, our staff have continued to do what they can do with our complaints and the work that we have. Um, Ms. Dorman and Ms. Gamble have been going into the office fairly regularly to check on um, mail, to check on, you know, make sure everything is secure. Uh, pay our bills and, and things of that nature. Michelle keeping up the intake process, um, um, you know, sending out the packets to potential complainants. And, and she's also receiving phone calls that are forward from the office to her, her cell phone. So there's no gap there that's, that's um, you know, uh, like a, a denial of, of providing the service to someone in a, in a prompt manner. Ms. Bridget has been contacting complainants in the field when we have a direct complaint and a name to follow up immediately to determine whether there's something urgent. Um, and if there is, then she helps, you know, troubleshoot it. If there isn't, 
um, then we gather the information so Michelle can follow up with um, distribution of the intake packets. And Mr. Elwood has been conducting research and um, looking into some of our complaints that have been hanging out there. Uh, for example, the Copey's Bar incident. You may have seen that Mr. Copey has filed his own civil suit against the police department and um, related to the Pagans incident that happened in October of 2018. So everybody's been busy. And um, if there's anything in particular we can do to support any interest you have or issue or concern, you know, just let us know. And we're here to do whatever we can to support your efforts as well. Thank you, Mr. Waters. Thank you. Does anyone have any questions for the executive director? No. Nope. Okay, well, thank you very much. So do we have any unfinished business? I didn't think so. Any new business? Excuse me, Mr. Waters? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> to circle back for a moment to the uh, statement of financial interest. Sure. Uh, Beth, I went ahead and did mine online today yes. and submitted it. Is there anything else I need to do? Did you send it on to the city of Pittsburgh or did you just file with the state? I just filed with the state. Then you will receive in return email a copy of that filing. Okay. That you should just forward or probably better to just start a new email and attach a copy of that that you got back from the state to mm -hmm. the SOFI at PittsburghPA.gov, the email that was in the notice. Okay. Then, and the value of that is that the email they return to you with your completed form is date stamped. So it's proof positive that right. you, the date that you filed it. So there can't be any quarrel about that. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, any new business? Hearing none, we will go into our case review and uh, hopefully I manage multiple files on my computer desktop here pretty well. Um, we have one case before us for a full investigation. That's case number 6220. Uh, do I have a motion to uh, move this case to full investigation? So it's moved. It's been moved. And a second? A second. second. It's been properly moved and seconded to case 6220 be moved to full investigation. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? And the motion passes. Uh, we have two cases that are before us to be dismissed as unsustainable. They are case number 24219 and 23819. Unless uh, you wish to have these handled separately, we can handle them together. If I, that's fine to handle them together, could I have a motion to dismiss these two cases as un unsustainable? I'll make the motion. It's been moved. Is there a second? A second. It's been properly moved and seconded. Is there any discussion about these two cases? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed? And that motion passes. Uh, we have one case to be dismissed as unfounded. It is case number 4920. Is there a motion to dismiss this case as unfounded? So moved. And is there a second? Second. It's been properly moved and seconded. Is there any discussion for dismissing this case? Hearing none, all those in favor of dismissing the case as unfounded say aye. 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 All those opposed? And that motion passes. We have uh, three cases to enter into suspension. They are case uh, 0520, 24319, 23319. Is there a motion to uh, move these cases to suspension? So moved. And is there a second? A second. It's been properly moved and seconded. Is there any discussion about these three cases? Hearing none, all those in favor of moving these cases to suspension, please say aye. 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 
All those opposed? And that motion passes. And that concludes our uh, cases that are before us. I'll also point out that we have uh, 10 cases sitting in, currently in, suspended, in suspension, and those are listed in uh, this document. Um, but we don't do anything with those in our meeting. Uh, so thank you for uh, staff for keeping us informed about these cases. So that concludes our case review for the evening. Uh, our announcements. Our next regularly scheduled meeting is set for May 26th at 6 p.m. at City Council Chambers. Uh, that's given that we're back to moving around and we will be back online if the COVID-19 uh, precautions necessitate a, a virtual meeting. Um, I would like now to open the meeting up for any public comments and uh, Madam Executive Director, I'm not sure how we're taking comments. Well, if someone wishes to say something, we can, um, they can show us, I believe, using the, the Q&A. I'm sorry. Webinar chat? Yes. Do you, I don't know if they have. Let us, uh, I, I, I. If we go to the chat, we did, <clears throat> you can see that uh, Mr. Ozark. Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, so I guess what I'd like to do is read the comments that I see there so that our public is aware of the chat. Uh, Mark and Tris say hello and thank you for your service and for making it possible for us to attend. Uh, we appreciate all of our uh, viewers and your participation in this process. And uh, please feel free at any time, anyone who's watching, if you have comments or questions for the Citizens Police Review Board, please direct them to our office and we will make sure to address them to the best of our ability. Um, does anybody on the board have any comments they want to make before we close our meeting tonight? Okay, well, I want to thank you all very much. I will accept a motion to adjourn. Excuse me, Mr. Waters, I believe Mr. Oh. Green. Oh, yes, Mr. Green, I'm sorry. Now, this is somewhat random, but I just wanted to say for the record, and I've made this type of comment on Facebook or maybe even other social media, but I think you folks need to hear this. Um, simply that I am extremely proud, honored, and humbled to serve on this board with you folks. That's all. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. The feeling is mutual. Yeah. That was, that, was, that was really nice. Thank you for bringing that to our meeting today. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you for uh, pointing that out since I almost overlooked it. Hmm. Um, other than that, are there any other comments before I call for a motion to adjourn? Uh, Mr. Waters? Yes. There is a oh. question whether there have been any public statements or discussions on changes in police policy relating to arrests and bookings in the time of COVID-19. Yes. Do you have any uh, information on that? Um, I, other than there are uh, precautions in place, there are no changes so far as we are aware of, um, you know, like not, not addressing certain levels of crime or something of that nature, that we are not aware of any um, um, intervention in that direction. The bookings, of course, are done by the Allegheny County Jail. And that's not something that we would have anything to do with. But they are not ignoring minor crimes, um, just, you know, for fear of 
engagement, their precautions are in place. Thank you. And I apologize for popping in there like that, folks. Um, I just can't read the screen. That's why I have glasses on. That's right. I can't but I can. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that was the only outstanding question. All right, then, then I will accept a motion to adjourn. So move. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Thank you, everybody. The meeting is adjourned, and we hopefully we'll see you in person next month. Yeah, see everyone. All right. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Well, the meeting went well, Beth. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Yes, it did. It was Very quick. Good. Let's make sure we're off of Facebook now. <laughs> I think we are. I don't think any any of us are going to say anything that would be. Not at all. Not at all. That was easy. Anyway. That was, we do have. Um, we set up for a year's worth of the webinars you know, the webinar option. Mm -hmm. So we can probably do these anyway. Um, even if we are meeting in person, we can still broadcast it on Zoom. Well, that would be nice. Yeah, yeah. That would be easy access for people who may not want to come out or who can't come out since we've had so many hundreds of people attend our webinar. You know, I, I think as word gets out, more people would be willing to sit here in their fuzzy slippers. Yeah. Yeah, you I think it's a great downtown. It's a great way to get out, or at least to get invite people in. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know who was who that was that asked that question, Swain. Swain. Yeah. I don't know who that is either. No. I thought it was one of your guys. No. Uh, because I'm not good with the last names. Yeah. No. I don't know who that is. There's somebody lurking. Probably. That's all right. That's all good. It's all yes, good. It is. The more the merrier. Yeah. Okay. Well, good. All right. Well, you guys take care. Stay okay. You too, Karen. Good to see you. See you, Sheldon. Oh, Mary, we said hello. It will. Over and out or something to that effect. <laughs> Until next time. Yes. All right. Be safe, Karen. Thank you. Right, I love you. Figure out how to leave this. There we go. Leave meeting. Leave meeting. Bye. Bye.